What you guys got another video does this setting really affect your pc performance we're talking about memory integrity memory integrity is a security feature for protecting processes from malicious code and verifying drivers that have been signed so basically microsoft have implemented memory integrity to protect your system now a lot of people say that you can gain a ton of fps by turning uh, core isolation which is your memory integrity and other settings inside here off and this will give you a massive boost i've seen online as much as 60 percent and this is simply not true so we're going to run some tests here i've turned off uh, core isolation which is your memory integrity i'm going to quickly restart the system and what we'll do is we'll give it a few benchmarks to see whether this actually impacts performance so first off, with the core isolation off, I'm going to run a benchmark, and this is Rise of the Tomb Raider. We'll run the built-in uh, benchmark here, and we'll see exactly what happens to the system. Now, with any sort of security feature on your computer, it will impact performance a little bit, and that's just a normal uh, case where you're adding, adding layers of security to your computer. But is it worth turning it off and how many frames can you gain? Well, there is tons of different games out there, and I'm not going to go through every single game, but as you can see here, they are your stats for the uh, actual core isolation turned off. So we'll save these, and we'll take a look at them side by side in a second. So I'm going to run another benchmark, and we'll see what uh, the difference is between off and on. We're going to run Assassin's Creed Origins core isolation off here, and there is the score right there you see on the board. You'll notice that I've got this on ultra high settings. I'm on an ultra wide monitor 2K, and I've also got a 7700X uh, processor in here with 32 gigabytes of RAM on this system. So it's a pretty modern uh, computer. I'm going to save these settings, and then we'll go ahead and run with the core isolation on, and we'll run the same settings. This way, we'll know. 100% whether there is a massive difference in performance. Now, I can tell you right now that if you've got a modern day computer, I don't notice any difference between them being off or being on. Now, if you've got an old system, maybe one of those old Dell Optiplexes or HP or one of those older systems with a first or second or third gen or even a bit newer uh, Intel processor in them, they are going to have a lot of issues because they were never really designed for gaming. So when you uh, try to play games on these things and put a graphics card in them, you are going to have some sort of issues with them. You're going to get bottlenecking and you're also going to have a lot of stuttering and instability. Uh, and this is why people say turn off core isolation to alleviate a lot of that on older systems. And that's why they always tell you to turn core isolation off. And again, we're here to find out whether there's any benefit. So this is Rise of the Tomb Raider with core isolation on. And we'll run a benchmark which is built in uh, to the actual uh, game itself. And you can see the scores there. I'll show you these a little bit later on side by side with it on and with it off. And we'll also do another benchmark so you can work out whether it's worth turning it on or turning it off. So let's run another one here. This is Assassin's Creed Origins. Core isolation is still on. And we'll run this. And there we go. There is our benchmark score. So this is a Ryzen 7700X. We also have an RTX 4070 Ti. And we have 32 gigabytes of 6000 megahertz RAM in here. And we also have uh, the score which you can see on the screen here. So let's have a look at Rise of the Tomb Raider first. As you can see with the core isolation off and the core isolation on, these are the scores right here. Overall, you can see by having it off, you've gained probably, I would say, 4 FPS, if that. And that's all within margin of error, in my personal opinion. If you look at the minimum and maximum here, you can see with it off and with it on. So minimum is 70.25. Minimum is 74.7. That's on the mountain peak. Going on to Sierra, you can see here the maximum has not really changed, but the minimum is slightly more with it off on the Sierra, only by 81.48 compared to 72.42. That is uh, the lows. 
Let's have a look at the next one, which is the uh, geothermal valley. And you can see here 57.88. And with it on, you actually gain more 0.1% lows there. So that is the actual score. So nothing to write home about and nothing to make you turn it off as all these people keep telling you to do. Because all you're doing is leaving yourself vulnerable to malware and other malicious attacks when you can just leave it on and you will not see any benefit by turning it off, in my personal opinion. And I had this discussion with the guys who created Atlas OS and they said that turning off core isolation is a massive benefit and you get a massive boost and you get a boost in 0.1% lows. Well, I'm not seeing those right here. And I also run MSI Afterburner in the background here. And these are the actual scores with core isolation on and core isolation off. Now, as you can see, these are not massive gains. And these are literally what we would class as within margin of error. There's nothing here to write home about. And all these people that keep piping on about turning it off because you would get a massive FPS boost. And you also get gains in 0.1% low frame rates. And you can see here, there's hardly anything here. And now, yes, this is on a modern day computer. And when you run these benchmarks and show the results, all you get is, oh, you should have done this. Oh, oh, you should have done that because uh, it will make a big difference. And again, I've tested this multiple times on different games and there's very little difference with it on or off. Now, there's people making videos on YouTube and also articles online that are claiming that you can get like 60% gains, 30% gains. And this will vary from game to game. And as you can see here, Assassin's Creed Origins, with it off and with it on, it actually benefited, believe you or not, with it on. We got a better score with it on than we did with it off. Now, some people think I've got some sort of agenda to try and prove a point and be right. But at the end of the day, what it comes down to is trying to give people the right information instead of giving them a load of misinformation, which is absolute nonsense. I've been doing computers for a very long time and these sort of things that float around on the internet are just absolute garbage and they don't mean anything when uh, you are trying to show people that this doesn't cripple or hobble the actual computer itself by having it on. You're going to give yourself a layered security which will protect you from nasty malware and also you're not going to see any major difference by turning it off. So you're probably better off just leaving it on. Now, a problem with a lot of the older systems that you're seeing floating around on eBay and these uh, YouTube videos that are saying use these as gaming systems, they can play games, but you're going to have some stuttering, you're going to have some micro freezing, and you're going to also have CPU maxed out. You're going to probably have a bottleneck when you put a big GPU in there. And it's just the nature of the beast. These PCs weren't really designed for gaming, and they're office surplus PCs. So whether you turn off the core isolation features like memory integrity or leave it on is entirely up to you. I would advise you just to leave it on. That way you get an extra added layer of security to block a ton of malware from infecting your system. But if you're having issues with memory integrity turned on and you're having an issue where you're doing virtual machines and things like that and things are not acting properly, then of course, you're best to probably turn it off if you're having some sort of major problem. Uh, but as long as you've got a really good antivirus program as well, if that is the case, then you should be okay. So really, at the end of the day, the choice is yours whether you want to use memory integrity or not. Now, again, you can test this on tons of different games, and what will happen is you're going to see varying results from all of those games. I've just done two benchmarks here and we should have seen a major difference and we just haven't. And I'm pretty sure there is one game out there that you may see an improvement on by turning it off. But again, uh, how much by? I wouldn't have thought it's going to be by a major amount. Uh, you're probably going to see within margin of error sort of results. But other than that, I think that is going to be about it. So my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.